Hey, this is Kurt with Doggy Dog Games, and I'm here to do another tutorial on our audio visualizer tool. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record tracks. Um, we can now do pre recorded tracks to do beat anticipation and improve performance. I'll, um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to cover how to create, uh, how to record the tracks. In other tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use them. So if you have the the tool already, you can follow along under Assets, Audio Visualizer, Scenes, just go into Record Audio and uh, look up in the inspector at the Audio Recorder. And I just want to cover these parameters and what they do. Um, first off, I'll hit the play button here and you can see um, some debug info right here. Right now it shows the track that we're recording and that's ref using this track from the audio sampler. It also shows you the destination. So this is the name of the file it's going to create. And um, you can change that here under audio recorder, audio file name. Next, we have a couple counters. We have a sample counter and a beat counter. So every time it's, as it's recording audio, it's just going to show you how many samples it's recording and how many beats it's detected. And then finally, there's a little status indicator. This is going to say done recording once you're all done. So if I hit record here. <laughs> You can see it started taking samples, detecting beats, and recording that audio. Um, so to do this with your own song, basically what you want to do is go under Audio Sampler and drag in your own audio clip right here. And then under Audio Recorder, all you'll need to do is change this audio file name. And then uh, you also want to make changes to a few of these other parameters, which we'll go over next. So uh, this audio index parameter, you shouldn't have to change unless you're using multiple audio sources. This is basically the index into the audio sampler audio source array saying which audio source we're using. And it's just using this audio source right here. Um, next, I want to talk about these ranges. Uh, basically, this, these are all the ranges that we want to record samples for. So if I uh, wanted to record over two ranges, I could do bass and decibel, for example. And basically, that's going to only record data in, in these ranges. Um, what you want to do is go to a different scene, any of our other scenes, for example, and set up what you want the effects to look like using an audio sampler and an audio event listener and your waveforms and see which, which frequency ranges are your waveforms using and only record data in those ranges. And the reason we want to do that is because the files that it creates, let me just show in the Explorer, these are some of the files that this audio recorder creates. And you can see they range from about 2 megabytes to 24 megabytes. And that number would get multiplied by the number of ranges that we record over. So the more ranges you record over, the bigger that file is going to be. Uh, we obviously want to keep our file sizes down for doing mobile applications and things like that. Um, so this next parameter is sample buffer size. So that is how the, the size of the array of samples that we capture every frame. So um, basically this is just match whatever's in your audio event listener, uh, the sample buffer size there. Just go ahead and, and match that here in the audio recorder. Uh, next, there's this flag saying if you want to record beats or not. Um, again, only keep this flag on if you are using um, beat detection effects in your game. If you're not worried about beat detection, if you're only using waveforms, then keep this off to keep this file size down. Next, we have an absolute value flag. Uh, what this is going to do is basically just take an absolute value of the data that gets created, and that can be used in different waveforms to make them just look a little bit different, um, and you can play with this absolute value flag in some other different scenes as well. Finally, there's this debug flag, which just shows um, if this is shown or, or hidden right now. So um, basically just drag and drop your own audio in, select the ranges you want to record over, select if you want to record beats or not, and then uh, go and hit record and wait until this is wait wait until that's all the way done. It'll say done recording up here and you'll see your file that gets created. Um, so look for our other tutorials on beat anticipation and um, this pre-recorded scene, and that's going to show you how to use these audio files to improve performance or to beat anticipation. That covers it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask us at Doggy Dog Games under support. 
Um, you could also ask us on Facebook or Twitter, just um, at Dog Eat Dog Games. And then finally, if you haven't seen our other tools, check out the Mesh Tracer. It allows you to do cool particle effects on top of any mesh and the Procedural Spaceships tool, which can procedurally generate spaceships. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Happy coding. We'll see you all later.